Now we're set up. So this is called function notation. Function notation. You need to get over it. Some of you uh, have a difficult time. I've had plenty of people have a difficult time with this. Because they, they look at this. What if parentheses meant up to this point? Multiplication. Okay, this is a specific kind of notation. This does not mean, absolutely does not mean f times x. It's not what it means at all. This is read f of x, and it literally means the function f, and sometimes we'll use other letters like g or h or any other letter really, and the variable that's in that function is x. Another way of thinking this of this is y equals this. These two things are identical uh, graphs if you were to graph them. So what is f of x really like? What uh, what other thing could we write that? Why? It's like the y coordinate. Now there's a couple of reasons for function notation. One, when you especially get into the sciences, function notation allows you to write. Uh, an equation where the name of what you're trying to do is in the equation itself. Some of you may have seen this in physics. This stands for velocity and the variable is, you know what t is? Time. This is a physics equation and right away you can see in the equation what the equation is all about. Velocity and then there's some equation. And so you already know what the equation's about. You didn't, it didn't say y equals something with x and it's all just general. It's something really specific. It sort of gives you more information than you can with just... Uh, but the real reason is what we're about to do. I'll show you. When it says f of negative 2 instead of f of x, what do they have instead of x now? Negative 2. Negative 2. So all you're going to do is take all the x's and change them to... Negative 2. So I have x cubed. So instead of x being cubed, what is being cubed? Negative 2. Negative two. Okay, what is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2? Negative 8. Negative, eight. negative 2 times negative 2 is? 4. 4 times negative 2 again is? Negative, negative 8. Okay. Minus 3. What's neg negative 8 minus 3? Negative, negative 11. Negative 11. And that's my answer. I stopped there. Okay? Okay? Now, if I were to officially write this out, I didn't write this out, uh, the whole thing. It says f of negative 2 equals what number? Negative 11. Negative 11. f of negative 2 equals negative 11. Right there, what's my x coordinate? x coordinate. Negative. x coordinate is what x was, right? Yeah. Negative 2. What's my y coordinate? Yeah. In one statement, I have both coordinates. Oh, okay, this is a point. Before, I would have to write x equals negative 2 and y <coughs> equals negative 11, and they're separate statements, and I somehow have to sort of be like, these are together. This is one statement that puts them together. x is negative 2, y is negative 11. Yeah? How would you do it if there was no Okay, okay, so let me, uh, let me do a few more examples. This is just the first one. Okay, so how is y equal to f of x and negative 2 equal to negative 11? F of, f of x, it, at this particular place where x is negative 2, uh -huh. is negative 11. Uh, okay. If I plug in negative 2 there, what do I get for y? If you plug in negative 2 for x, what do you get for y? See? The function is negative 11 when x is negative 2. That's what it says. Okay? Which is like saying y is on negative 11 when x is negative 2. But this says it in one statement rather than two statements. That's kind of the idea. Okay. Uh, so let's do a few more examples. It gets more clear as you sort of work with it some more. So h of x, so this function's name is h. h is its name, it's the first thing. And the variable that's in it is what's in here. So it's h of x is equal to this craziness. 
Find h of 1.6. So all I'm going to do is take all the x's and change them into a 1.6. That's it. Now, this is going to require your calculator. And actually, what do I do? 0.3. And here's the deal. Anytime you see an x, it's a pretty good idea to write a parenthesis because it's not like you're just squaring. Well, in this case, it doesn't really matter, but I want you to see the two differences between these two things. What's being squared here? Two. Negative two. Two. Two is being squared. Yes. This is two squared with a negative sign in front of it. So what's two squared? Four. Four. Throw a negative sign in front? Negative four. Okay. What's being squared here? Negative, negative two. That's negative two times negative two, which is? Four. If you forget the parentheses, you're going to make some, you can easily make some errors. Okay? So I put parentheses just to remind myself that it's the whole thing, the whole thing, every time that I'm doing. So instead of x squared, what is in here in this particular 1.6 minus 3 times 3x, what's x? 1.6. 1.6 minus 2.7. So you could uh, get your calculator out. 1.3, 1.6 squared is 2.56 minus 4.8 minus 2.7. I'm just going to try to do this a little bit fast. Does anyone uh, have their calculator out? I think this is what? Yeah. Point seven six eight. Point six negative six point seven. Negative. Oh, you did the whole thing already? Oh, yeah. Minus 4.8 <laughs> minus 2.7. That would be that would be negative seven point five plus this is negative six point what? Seven three two. Six point seven three two. Yep, that sounds right. Okay, so there we go. So this would say that h of one point six is equal to negative six uh, point seven three two. What's x here? 1.6. And what's y? Negative 6.7. Yeah, which is what the function is representing. Okay? Function. And here's, here's, here's the deal. If you remember from yesterday, we said that the function is when I give you one x value and you give me one answer back. So every time you see function notation, they're telling you something. This is a function. If I put one x in, I only get one answer back. Okay? All right, last one. This is the one that freaks everyone out. Yay. Oh. I'm ready to second the last one. I'll see. There might be another one. Okay, we're back to this uh, function we had to start with, the x cubed minus 3. But now instead of f of negative 2, it says f of? 2t. Two 2t. Two t. Oh, it's got a letter in it. Not a big deal. We're going to do it the same way. So f of 2t is equal to, instead of x cubed, what goes in there? 2t. 2t. Minus 3. Now you've got to remember a little bit of your uh, algebra from algebra 1. When you cube something that's all being multiplied together, you cube every part. So it's 2 okay. cubed. So what's 2 cubed? Uh, 2 eight, times 2 times 2. 8. And what's t cubed? T cubed. T cubed. Okay. Minus 3. That's your answer. That's your answer. Right there. This is your answer. Okay. Yeah. That's it. And if I wanted to get like really technical, what's my x coordinate? 2t. 2t, which is just still some variable, right? What's my y? 8t. 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 8t